Hi, it's Michael with Intervention Toys here to talk about again how Cat the Laser Game, that fun two-player strategy game where players alternate moving Egyptian-themed pieces with mirrors on them uh, and fire their laser beam at the end of each turn in hopes of illuminating their opponent's pharaoh, uh, how this game can be used as a great platform for teaching optics principles and if someone has the game, plus an expansion pack that contains two beam splitting pieces, with each one of these pieces, uh, one laser beam goes in and two come out, uh, you can teach uh, some pretty interesting things. And I have recruited Catherine to walk us through our activity in bending light with lenses. So Catherine, if you could come over and walk us through this one, I would appreciate it. Bending light with lenses. Things I need. Two eye of horse beam splitters. Concave and convex lens holder. Pyramid single mirrored piece, concave lens, convex lens, white sidewall, steps I take, place cut pyramid piece in the indicated spot in front of the laser. Place the two Eye of Horus beam splitters in the indicated spots. What this does for us is um, when the laser goes through this, um, part of the beam bounces off, the other part goes through to this beam splitter, part of the beam bounces off again and then the, the rest of it goes through, hits this, and then it bounces off. See? So you get three parallel beams of light. Yes. Okay. Place the concave and convex lens holder in the indicated spot. Place the white sideboard at the indicated spot. Place the convex lens in the lens holder. Place while holding down the laser button to create three beams entering the convex lens, move the white side wall closer to um, closer to them farther from the lens and observe where the three beams hit the wall. Okay. Right now they're cross. If I move it away, they separate. If I move it closer, they cross. Remove the convex lens from the lens holder. Place the concave lens in the lens holder. While holding down the laser button to create three beams entering the concave lens, move the white side wall closer to, then farther from the lens and observe where the three beams hit the wall. Okay. Right now, they hit all here. If I move it away, they go apart. If I move it closer, they come closer, but they never cross. Place the 
convex lens back in the lens holder next to the concave lens. Okay. While holding down the laser button to create three beams entering the lenses, move the white side wall closer to, then farther from the lenses and observe where the three beams hit the wall. Okay. They stay in the same spot because um, the two lenses equal each other out. Questions to answer. One, when the three parallel beams go through the convex lens, how do the three spots where the laser beams hit the white side wall move as you slide the wall closer to and farther from the lens? When there, when the, if, is there a place where the spots cross? Two. When the three parallel beams go through the concave lens, how do the three spots where the laser beams hit the white side wall move as you slide the wall closer to and farther from the lens? Is there a place where the spots cross? Three. When the three parallel beams go through the concave and convex lens combination, how do the three spots where the laser beams hit the white side wall move as you slide the wall closer to and farther from the lens. Is there a place where the spots cross? What we discover from this activity is that convex lenses, like a magnifying glass, focus light to a point. Concave lenses spread light. Thank you, Catherine. That was terrific. You're welcome.